This is Olfactif's deluxe collection for June 2021, titled Open Road. It's a Saturday at dawn. You've planned this day out for weeks. No commitments and no obligations. This day is just for you. The road is calling. The day is yours. Carpe diem. In the deluxe collection for June, we've curated a collection that gets you on the open road early in the summer. You'll start by pulling back the sheer white curtains of your bedroom, looking out to the day ahead of you. White Castitas, a transparently pure fragrance, starts your morning. So soft. What are these notes again? I can't even. It's so. What? I'm speechless. Speechless right now. This is so delicious. My mouth is watering, but not from a I want to eat this reaction. It's more of a I want to cuddle this reaction. I want to do very innocent things with this perfume. I want to hold hands. I want to blush. It's not the smell of blush. It's not rouge. This is like butterflies in your stomach. Oh, I gotta try it on skin. Hang on, hang on. So I'm gonna be spraying it onto my elbow because it's uh, my next available... It's my next available pulse point. Close enough. It didn't really reach my elbow, but it's, it's on my arm. Oh, ooh, on my skin. There's a different, ooh, different texture on skin now. Hang on. Spray one more. Hang on. I need, to, I need to get the full experience here. It has a bit of an androgynous sense to it. Normally I say, I try to stay away from saying anything is unisex. I go more for gender neutrality, but this. This is beyond gender neutrality. This is purposefully androgynous. This is purposefully weaving through femininity and masculinity and doing so like a roller coaster. I'm so enthralled by this fragrance. I can't pinpoint it. It's supposed to evoke memories and I can't pinpoint a memory out of this. It reminds me of cooking. It reminds me of baking with my sister. That's the memory that it evokes for me, is, is baking cookies with my sister. It's so soft that I have to like stick my nose in there. And you saw, I sprayed it twice. And it's still so soft that I have to like stick my nose in here. In its softness though, there's a statement. There's that statement of the memory, right? It's a very distant memory. And maybe for me, it's soft, because whatever memory is coming out is very, very far back in my mind. It reminds me, it just hit me. It reminds me of, this is gonna sound hilarious, but it reminds me of my grandma's sister-in-law. She never smelled like this, but this reminds me of her. That is so weird. She didn't smell like this. She smoked cigarettes, so she smelled like cigarettes. This doesn't smell like cigarettes at all. This just smells really good. It smells like her personality. It smells like her essence. It smells like her person, not like her. She never smelled like this physically, but this is so interesting. I need, I need some more time with this fragrance. On paper, it is light. On paper, you really get the violet, the rose. It's like up here. Maybe my nose already got used to it, but I'm kind of not smelling it anymore. Oh my God, but that smells so good. There's a texture there. It doesn't smell like burlap, but the texture is that of burlap. The texture is that of burlap, but it doesn't smell like burlap. What a conundrum. I am in love with the fragrance though. It smells wonderful. It smells so soft, so nice. It smells gentle. It smells sweet, but not just sweet in the sense of, wow, this is a sweet smell. I mean like, wow, this is a sweet human being. This is a sweet heart. 
a sweet person. This smells like a sweet person. And you know, even sweet people have their moments of anger, have their dark side, which, you know, makes for a well-rounded human being. I think that's where the licorice comes in. And that lemon, that lemon zest, that little bit of lemon juice in your eye, you'll get that from some sweet people. Good on you, sweet person. Stand up for yourself. Wow. That's my ending note. Just wow. With freshly shaven skin, you spray barbe on your white cotton tea, where pineapple and apple give a modern twist to a barbershop classic. Put the bay in barbe. Say that you're fine. Hold. Ooh, hold on. Oh. This is supposed to be open road, mm -mm, honey, I'm going right back to bed. It's like biting into a pineapple and an apple at the same time. And then the lavender and the mint are in there to like lift it a little bit. All these notes together come together to make one big note. You know, usually you're able to break apart the notes and like smell. I do sometimes, I try not to, I try to smell the whole thing all together, but sometimes a note stands out and then the other one, and usually with pineapple, it stands out a lot. It's very well-rounded. Very well-rounded. I'm gonna try it on my skin now, because I'm really curious. Ooh, it's darker on skin. It's light mode on paper, dark mode on my skin. It smells tasty. It's interesting because the description says it's reminiscent of a barber shop but barber shops to me smell a lot more like alcohol and not alcohol like drinking alcohol i mean like you know when they like lather on that shit the fucking aftershave it smells like aftershave this is an aftershave this is ambrosia this is the barber shop of the gods the good lord almighty is shaving her beard at this barbershop. I can see where the allusion to barbershop is here though. I can see it. I just, from my experience in barbershops, barbershops I went to didn't really smell like this. They smelled Cuban? Cause I'm Cuban and I know what that smells like and that smelled Cuban to me. And then again, it was in Hialeah, Florida, so. I feel like this is what young me would have thought a barber shop smelled like before I even stepped foot into a barber shop. This is what an innocent, just coming of age mind would assume a barber shop would smell like. I hope I'm giving this fragrance justice because it smells good. I'm not saying it smells bad. I'm not saying it smells childish. I'm just saying it smells so much richer than the actual experience of going to a barber shop. Going to a barber shop for me smells more, I usually get more menthol smells, crisp smells. This is crisp in the sense of apple, in the sense of mint. Oh, it's evolving. The more I smell the mint, the more I see, the more, the more it comes out. The last scent you would expect at a barbershop is lavender. It's that feeling of the cloth that comes over you before the shave. The pineapple and the apple and the, hmm. This is definitely more paying homage to the feast that the Romans would hold in celebration of the young man coming of age and shaving for the first time. This is, this is more in that regard of shaving, not so much barbershop shaving. It does smell pretty barbershoppy. It smells barbershoppy. You know what it is? Colonia. Agua Violeta. That like super cheap cologne shit that they would put on you, like the aftershave. It's a play on that, but heightened, leveled up. This is a level up to the heavy butane stuff that they use at the barbershops. Smells really, really good. I like this. Barbet is a winner in 
the crispest of cuts. It makes the cut because it is the crispest cut. It smells really, really good. And I can see myself layering this one with one fragrance that I have that's more Chipra and Rosemary. That one would smell really good with this one because that one's very summery and this one is very clean shaven. I feel like the two together, oh man getting some ideas over here. I am getting some ideas over here. Definitely check out Olfactum Fragrances. You won't regret it. This isn't sponsored, by the way. 8E917E gets you on the open road fast with wet concrete, morning dew, and cave humidity. You're ready for any adventure that crosses your path. Oh my god. Wait, but it smells good. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. What do we have here? Why was I scared of this? It smells so good. I was scared it wouldn't smell good. There, I said it. I was scared it wouldn't smell good. I was scared it would be too strong. I was scared it would be pungent. I, would scare I was scared it wasn't going to be good. But guess what? On paper, 8E917E smells good. The reason I was scared is because just smelling the box itself, like without having ever sprayed this, it smells like wet concrete. It smells like petrichor. It smells strong. And right now it's so funny that at the time of recording, it's actually raining here in Los Angeles. It's very rare for it to rain here, at least from my experience. I guess maybe now that it's winter, it's closer to winter, maybe there's more chance of rain. Right now, it is wet outside. It smells like this, but this smells so much better. This smells like, you know what it is? It's like they took the concept of wet concrete and made it fashion. You remember Tyra being like, be sad, be depressed, but make, make it, it fashion. fashion. Get murdered, <gasps> make, make it fashion. I love that. What a mess. This is not a mess though. This is that concept taken and applied correctly because it smells so good. It smells surprisingly good. I would have never thought to say, yeah, I want to smell like wet concrete. I'm feeling like cave humidity today, sweetie. I'm feeling like cave humidity today. Mm, whoa, that is so interesting in a good way. I love when perfume proves me wrong because for the longest time I thought moss always smelled bad on me. I thought, oh, every time I spray on a mossy scent, it's gonna smell bad. I went into it thinking, you know what? It's probably gonna smell bad because it has moss. If it's too close, then it's like wet earth. Oh, but from afar, how? How does this happen? How can, how can this smell like wet earth, but like a caress? It smells like nature. It smells like a return to nature. It smells so yummy. <sniffs> Clearing my nostrils here. Oh, it's, hmm. I went, hmm, because for some reason it made me think of a cemetery. It made me think of a mausoleum. It made me think of a burial in the rain. And that's a mood, but can also be a little sad depending on you know if you're feeling that just smelling it from the bottle it smells manly it smells masculine there's like an undertone of barber shop there's an undertone of like of cologne on skin right now i'm getting wet grass wet grass freshly not freshly mown grass but like earlier in the day somebody mowed the lawn and then later in the day it rained and now there's a rainbow across this um, cloudy sky. This is Home Depot chic right here, okay? This is Lowe's Garden Section Couture. And I say that in the best possible way because I guarantee you there will be no fragrance smelling like this. If you want to stand the hell out, go for this. I would wear this not on a rainy day because on a rainy day, you're going to blend in with the rainy day. I would wear it on a cloudy day when it's not raining. I can't pinpoint it, but it smells good. It doesn't smell bad. I thought it would. I was here expecting it to be like, 
not bad. I wasn't expecting it to be that bad. I was just expecting it to be not good on my skin. Maybe that's my own preconceived notions that I have to work on. Okay, work on your biases here, Joelle. If I was to wear this with my partner, and if you were to wear this with um, a partner, or if you have multiple partners, I, don't know, I would have my partner wear something a little more on the floral garden side and then I would pair this with the earthiness, right? The earthiness of this goes perfect with the garden side. If someone else wore rose, a rosy fragrance, if someone else wore a lavender fragrance or violet or iris, all of it would come together in a garden. And that would be fucking awesome. I could see myself wearing this one as like a base, like putting this on my wrists or on the back of my knees, and then at the top, wearing something rosy, wearing something gardenia, some kind of floral at the top. Can't think of any off the top of my head right now, but if you have any favorite florals, comment them down below. Which one would you pair with wet earth or with wet Ness. just green it's very green very green very mossy but in in the best possible way it's definitely a rainforest but not rainforest cafe just a rain rainforest forest. it's a very rainforest, rainforest smell and i enjoy this a lot i didn't think i would enjoy it as much as i did but i do this is also very reminiscent of working in the garden and then the clouds are coming over it's like oh no I better hurry up before it starts to rain and then it starts to rain and you're still cleaning up so your white t-shirt is getting like rained on and you have to run inside and it's kind of fun but at the same time it's like oh no my garden but and then afterwards you take a shower because you're dirty from the garden but you're also a little wet from the rain so you take a shower you put on a bathrobe and then you watch a movie and eat pizza this whole event happened and this is the smell this is the smell that's the story of this smell that's the story that i get here it's supposed to be reminiscent of um of a road trip but to me it takes me to the garden it takes me to trying to beat the rain not necessarily the rain itself that's what this makes me think of it makes me think of beating the rain right now i'm just sitting here my wrist is at my on top of my thigh the scent that is wafting up is cave humidity it is moisture it's wetness i love this i love this it's not a wet damp towel smell it's just a deep earth smell it smells fantastic i'm in love with this this is a winner for me this is definitely a winner i wouldn't wear it all the time and i may not always wear it by itself i will definitely layer this with another fragrance and uh, not go ham on it. If you're interested in trying it, get yourself a sample at olfactive.com. Not today's sponsor, I always have to throw that in. Perfectly paired for the summer sun, Zest showers you in refreshingly citrus bursts of sunshine that will undoubtedly make you smile. squeeze the lime in my eyeball but like it hurts good this is evoking some real energy right now this is so fresh it's fresh it's like someone just took a lime and shoved it down my throat and then like as it's shoving into my mouth the little skin is squeezing out the juice and i'm like i hope i'm doing this fragrance justice because honestly it smells so good it's not just lime. It's all kinds of citrusy goodness. It's not the juice itself. That's why it's called zest. It's like, you know, when you when you um um it's um when you um, when you zest the fruit, right? The fruit skin. When you squeeze that orange peel, or when you squeeze the lemon peel, or the lime peel, maybe even the grapefruit grapefruit feel. Actually, there is grapefruit in here. That makes. Oh, mm an educated nose okay i can sniff out the haters because, because they, they all smell like shit this smells so refreshing and this is on paper i can't wait to try it on my skin 
Would I get the same result if I just squeeze a lime onto my skin? Yes, no, because there's a little bit of bergamot in here. There's a little bit of undertones of deliciousness and neroli. Neroli has a very nice crisp scent to it while also being a base note. I feel like neroli is highly underrated when it comes to perfumes. And I think more perfumes should take advantage of neroli, should use neroli smartly. This is a smart this is a smart way of doing neroli. This is clearing up my sinuses. Because <laughs> you know it's citrus. Citrus is good for the sinuses. And this is this is clearing me up. This is amazing. This would be perfect for early to mid-summer, like the beginning of summer, middle of summer. I wouldn't quite hit the summer stolps. I wouldn't quite hit the summer solstice with this though. I know the summer solstice is supposed to be the beginning of summer. So this is like before the summer solstice. As spring is winding down, this one kicks in. You could wear it after the summer solstice. I'm not saying don't. I'm just saying for me personally, this is what I would do with this. This is definitely an afternoon, maybe mid, mid noon. That's just noon. Midday brunch. If I was to wear this as a couple, I would have my partner wear something mimosa scented and then this on the side. If it's the summer, I would also pair it with a like beachy scent, something kind of reminiscent of coconut and pineapple. If we're wearing citrus here, then the other one could wear, the other person could wear something like pineapple, coconut, sand. I don't know if sand has a smell, but that'd be kind of cool. It feels so welcoming. It feels so fresh warm but not in an evening warm kind of sense it's a daytime warmth hence the summer feeling but not hot it's like a warm welcoming it's like you're coming in from the heat into the shade this is a nice palm tree shade i love this fragrance so much it's taking me back to florida without the stress of living in florida i'm digging this this does also feel pretty california because i'm right now living in california i'm not close to the beach though it doesn't feel very tropical here like sunset in california it feels like sunrise in florida sunset in california that's what this this is either one it can't be both can it sunrise in miami or sunset in i don't know any beaches here in California. If you live in California, where are some tropical beaches or tropical feeling beaches around here? Let me know in a comment below. I feel like this would be amazing if it was in the fridge for a little while. If it was in the fridge for, I want to say like three or four hours and then spray it on your skin. Ooh, I feel like that would be a game changer over here. It doesn't necessarily change anything of the notes, but it's the feeling because it's that, again, it's that cooling shade effect that I think would really shine if this was refrigerated. So if you have Blue Hill Fragrances Zest, try refrigerating it. Let me know what you think. Do you refrigerate your fragrances? By the way, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on the fragrance. But yeah, Zest by Blue Hill Fragrances is an absolute winner for me from this box. All in all, five out of five, this is delicious. The day was flawless with escapades and antics. Your animal instincts are tuned up. Now it's time for Juste Filthy, a modern animalic fragrance that is bound to raise some eyebrows. For civet lovers, this is your holy grail. For those just getting into the animalic notes, here's our suggestion. Don't judge a fragrance by one sniff. Oh my god, this thing exploded. Whoa! Oh, oh wow. Wow. wow! Oh my god, that smells like sex. <clears throat> that smells... Holy f that smells really good. I've smelled this before. I've smelled this note before. I forget where. I feel like one of my mom's fragrances has animalic notes like this, has civet. Cive? Cive? Civet? It smells bubbly. It smells bubbly. The two fragrances that I was most scared of that I wore, tried on on my day off have been my two favorites so far. This smells so delicious. I have to put this on my flesh. I did two sprays. I feel like that might be very strong. I swear, the first, that first whiff smells like sex. 
Like that first whiff, there's an undertone in there that's like, am I smelling someone's genitalia right now? Clean genitalia, but genitalia nevertheless. This smells really, really good. I'm quite impressed by this one because when you read animalic, when you read animal notes, you're like, hmm, is this going to smell like a wet dog? Is this going to smell like a litter box? You know, I don't know what that meant, but smelling it now, it's like clean fur. I'm sure it smells like this because it was at one point derived from animal parts that nowadays is very vegan it's much cleaner but it definitely smells really 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 good the musk definitely adds a nice softness to it which i love musk i love powdery scents as well this has a nice powdery scent this smells like baby powder on balls i'm not saying this in a bad way at all on the contrary it smells so nice it smells pampered that's what it smells like. It smells pampered. No matter the genitalia, no matter your cleaning routine or skin routine, it smells nice and clean. A pampered, pompous bouteille. It smells like a pampered derriere in the boudoir. This smells like a five star sex dungeon. Satin drapes mirror on the ceiling. The powder room after an orgy. It was a nice, well-organized orgy of a respectable 15. I would definitely wear this at night. I would definitely wear this on a date. Maybe not a first date if you don't want to, you know, do the do. If you do want to do the do, then definitely wear this. I also want to say it's unisex. I want to say it leans more feminine-ish. In my eyes, it awakens a feminine side to masculinity and it can awaken a masculine side to femininity. This feels very gender neutral to me. This feels very gender inclusive. You can be just about anybody and wear this. I say that about every fragrance, but I wanna emphasize it here. This smells like the softest blindfold, the softest silk ties when tying your wrist to the bed. Juste Filthy by JD Jeffrey Dane, a winner. A game changer. This is so, so good. So specific and yet so ambiguous. It's so straightforward without being pushy. It's asking for permission to not ask permission. Consent is sexy, y'all. Consent is sexy. And this is sexy. Permission granted. It's a great scent to have after a bath, you're in your bathrobe and you're getting ready to relax and maybe a little something else. This is a great fragrance to lead to that wonderful act, either between two people, between multiple people, or with just yourself. Whatever the case may be, spray this on and Baby, he will be going on and on and on. It's really, really good. Really, really good. This is, ooh, ooh. I gotta smoke a cigarette after smelling this. And I don't even smoke. Mr. Dame, Sir Jeffrey, you know what you're doing. Y'all know what you're doing over at JD Jeffrey Dame. Five stars. Alas, the day comes to an end. You head back home to indulge in nonchalant, where red berries are dipped in champagne and a silken brandy snifter is ready to greet you. Does this have oud? I know what this smells like. This reminds me of this knockoff that I have. It's so mean. But Alt Fragrances makes um, fragrance inspired fragrances. Rouge Rose. It was called Rouge Rose. It was supposed to be like a rosy oud. And I never knew which one they were 
basing it off of and I'm wondering if it's this one. This smells rosy. There is rose in here, but it smells rosy. It smells, it smells red in between wine red and red red because there's raspberry, there's rose, there's red berries. There's a lot of red stuff in here and it smells red. This is inspired by Josephine Baker and I am digging it. Tart berries, untouched champagne. This is effortless elegance. Effortless elegance. Like the act of existing itself is elegant. That's what this is. When someone is so effortlessly elegant that like just their existence is elegance. That's what this is. Time for some skin action. I love this so much. Oh my God. It's like the more I smell it. The more I feel effortlessly elegant, the more I feel like, yeah, I'm not even trying. This is absolutely a winner. I'm trying to pinpoint exactly what it is that I love about it. And it's just everything. It's tart, it's deep, it's rosy, but like the thorns of the rose. It's like, I want to be pinched. I want to get pricked by this rose if it means that I get a little bit of that effortless elegance seeping through my bloodstream. There isn't much of a difference between spraying it on my skin and on paper, which I love. Let's see, I guess I'm conflicted because sometimes I like it when a fragrance smells different on paper than on skin, but other times I want that paper effect on my flesh. This time I'm getting it. I'm really getting it. It's cozy and elegant at the same time. This came out in the summer collection, but I like this more as a winter fragrance. And I'm glad because it's December. This feels very wintry to me. It could be a late evening, late summer kind of fragrance, but I like this more for winter. I think this is the red berries. The red berries feels very Thanksgiving, feels very Christmas feast, Christmas Eve feast. It's the red berries for sure. That raspberry tartness, the rose. This makes me think of the snowball fight in Beauty and the Beast. You know, the rose is there. Bitch, where? Belle's blushing. The beast is being beastly. I want this bottle. I kind of want to buy them all. They're not on like the quote unquote deep discount because it's, this is the June box and it's now it is now December. It's way past the time to get them 20% off, but as a subscriber, you still get the full size bottles 10% off, which isn't bad. This smells absolutely riveting. It smells like a, a fictional character. Like this is what a fictional character would smell like. Just someone who isn't real. Someone who you imagine would probably smell like this. <sighs> Nonchalant by Ilk Perfume, an absolute winner from this box as well. Honestly, every perfume that I've tried from Ilk has been just delicious and elegant and effortless and storytelling. I gush about Ilk Perfume because I think my introduction to them was in last year's December box. I loved it so much and then every box that I've gotten that had an ilk fragrance in there I was ready I was like okay I better prepare myself for some greatness over here and then I try it on it's so good I have not yet encountered an ilk fragrance that I was like eh or eh or they're all just Tear, single tear falling down my cheek. Cheers to enjoying a day for you on the open road. Thank you for watching this video to its completion. I greatly appreciate that. If you liked this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, then hit the thumbs down. We appreciate honesty in this house. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and consider subscribing. If you're still unsure, I completely understand. I've got many, many, many other videos to explore on fragrances, on personal experiences, on... Huh, I guess that's it. Follow me on Instagram at joel.anon. What was your favorite fragrance from this collection? According to the notes, according to what it sounded like, what do you think? you'll wear most from this six fragrance box. 
go ahead and comment down below do you have any of these fragrances how do you like them do you have any fragrances from any of the designers do you have any fragrances from the fragrance houses that were in this box also curious to know have you ever used olfactif so many questions i want them all answered in a five paragraph dissertation mla style down in the comments below and i will be checking font size thank you again for watching and you will see me in my next video whenever that may be ta-ta Thank you.